I do appreciate the bits. Also, hello, YouTube. It's been about a week and... No, two weeks. It's been two weeks since we've played. So, I'm not expecting to remember anything, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I know we fought the dude, the sniper dude, last time we played. I remember that much. Outside of that, though, I'm struggling to remember, like, anything. Like, where we are, what we're doing. We were trying to find a door. We climbed a mountain. Yeah, see, I was going to say, we climbed a mountain. Okay, 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 okay. This is actually a great place to start, because that is where we're trying to get. I don't remember anything about how we get there, but I do remember that's where we're trying to get. You had to get your spot back? I mean, fair enough, I guess. I'm glad you uh <laughs> glad you got your spot back, love. Okay, let's call the colonel or whatever he's called, Major Zero this time. Just run there. Just run straight for it down the side of the mountain. Just go for it, dude. <laughs> You've got the key from Eva. Now use it to enter the underground tunnel. The great fortress of Groznygrad is at the end of that tunnel. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she gave us a key. Uh, Eva or Eva or whatever. She gave us a key. Um, and then she went down there and got her shit wrecked. We found out, that's right, that she's like, she's the wife of the dude or whatever that we're trying to save. Something along those lines. Um, but she gave us a key and now we need to use that key to get into the tunnel. I don't remember where the tunnel is, though. It's up here somewhere. That's a spider. Maybe try knocking. That's not a bad idea. Maybe <laughs> maybe that'll work. We'll have to give that a try. Okay, this room is suspiciously empty. We're full on those bullets. Oh. Can we... Maybe hit? Do we get to take scorpions alive? Does that work? I think it does. I'm not sure. You're dropping in to say hi before you head to class. Rue, hello, my guy. I hope you're having a decent day, man. I hope class goes well for you. Let's check our inventory real quick, because I just... I don't remember what food or anything we have. We have the parrot from the sniper dude. Um... We have an Emperor Scorpion, which apparently tastes bad. Then we have a bunch of other food. This stuff is rotten, so we should probably just dispose. Dispose. Okay. Let's just go ahead and eat the Scorpion now, I guess, even though it'll stay fresh for a long time. Because all this other food is, like, preserved food. So it'll stay good for, like, ever as well. And then the parrot, I just kind of want to keep it in general, like, forever, to be honest with you. <laughs> just... I like the parrot, man. You wish it didn't end at 8 p.m. so I won't be able to watch, but hopefully class doesn't feel like it takes forever. I hope so, man. I hope it goes well for you. Is this... Are we going the right way? I don't know, man. I think... I think so. I think down there somewhere is the entrance to the tunnel. Kind of struggling to remember, though. But I, I think so. I think it's down there somewhere. I think we even found the door at one point, but we couldn't get to it because uh reasons. What happens if we do just, like... Uh, is it triangle to get up? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that looks like a hell of a drop. I don't think, I don't think we actually want to do that. <laughs> I think that'll end pretty poorly for us, man. Let's go. Let's go back the way we came. With the camo that we have on, we were like basically... Excuse me? The stuff respawns every time we come in the room? Dude, we can just get infinite food? Wait, has it been that way this entire game? <laughs> like... Bruh. Okay, well in that case, let's eat the shitty food. Like the rushy, rush, rushy ration? The Russian ration. I'm so tempted to just, like, reload the room a couple of times and just keep getting more instant noodle packets, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna spend our time with that. I think we're okay on food. 
I think. Are there still people? Or did it empty out? Like, do I still need to be careful? I don't see anyone, but I think I hear someone. And the motion detector is picking up something. Oh yeah, no, there's definitely, okay, there's still some people at least. Now, if we're down on the ground with this camo, we're basically invisible. When we're running around, not so much, but... What are you? Why is he wearing, like, a gas mask and shit? He's got like a flamethrower on his back. Is that what that was? Underground tunnel. Let's go, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm glad they gave us, that's nice, they gave us like a, an easy way down that we could slide down there. That's pretty sick. Now then, is the underground tunnel going to be empty? Or is it going to be like full of people and we need to be careful? I remember her saying something about it being dangerous. And the door being locked, but that might have been more to do with like... Trying to get here than the actual tunnel itself. I'm not sure. Because, like, obviously the tunnel itself was very well guarded. But now that we're down here, do we really need to worry about people? Or are we good? Zombie it up, dude. Let's go. Uh, Tiger Stripes. Not bad. Splitter. Splitter looks like the way to go. Spider's better, obviously, but it'll eat through our stuff like crazy, our stamina like crazy. There's bats. We don't need them, though. Bandages, some ointment. This looks suspiciously empty. It's really dark down here, too. We could, like, don some night vision goggles or something, but I don't think we really need it. Cutscene? Ooh, there's someone coming. I think that explains what the dude in the mask, yeah, he was a flamethrower, bro. Wait a second. You're a little different. You're not just a dude in a mask. What the hell are you? <laughs> I was a little bit trigger happy with that thing, my guy. I guess he just really hates bats. I am... The fury, the flames of my rage will incinerate you. I came back from space. As I returned, I had one vision. The world set ablaze. And do you know what I saw there? Fury. Great and terrible fury at being alive. Now you're going to feel the scorching heat of that horrible blackness. The 
dude's an angry ass astronaut. Okay. How do we? Can we? His head is protected by like that, that helmet. No, I'm really not ready for this. Um. Ow. Okay, that also knocks us down. Is there a way... Can we, like, put out the fire? Where's he... Bruh, okay. Cool, so we can still... Oh, god damn it. Ha! Ah! <laughs> okay. We should probably get out of the fire. Can we, like, stop, drop, and roll? Does that do anything? That... I can't tell if that actually did anything. We are burnt. It's definitely a lot brighter in here now. Where'd he go, though? Can we walk through this? Where are you we can, but we're kind of on fire now. Uh, okay, can we get him from like the windows here? Grenades. Oh, maybe stun grenades might do something. Oh god, <laughs> that, <laughs> that didn't go so well. Okay, uh... Oh, okay, he's... He's looking for us, dude. This is fine, yeah, everything is fine. Is he coming up this way now, or is he staying down there? Yeah. Holy shit, dude, there he is. I think we might be dead. Can we, like, go up? No. Okay, go, go, go. We got a few shots on him that time, at least. That's good. No. Oh, God. I think, I think we're probably going to have to try this one again, but... Oh, go up. Climb, snake, climb! Oh, God. Okay, where'd he go? Okay, he's like right there. Is he just, like, blasting everything? Where's he at? There he is. I can't really, like, get him, though, because all the freaking flames he's shooting. Maybe... Wait, did he just... He's literally flying around. Are you gonna land so I can like shoot ya? I don't like the echoes, man. He's up there? That seems like cheating. I'd rather not if you don't mind my guy. I don't like being on this side, because on this side, I can't see what the hell's going on. 
I'd much rather be like at the front here so we can see down the hallway. Hi! <laughs> you sure did find me. We just like stay close to the ground. So he's like. Need a light. I think we get up. I think we can see him. You're not getting away from me. No oh, shit, he like went across the same time I went across. I'd rather, I don't know what you're counting down exactly, but I don't really want to find out either. Oh shit, am I out of ammo? That was real bullets. Uh, hold on. Or no, it's just the, okay, it's just the, uh, the suppressor that ran out. That sounded like, man, when the sound of the gun changed, I thought we <laughs> ran out of bullets for it. I was like, no, dude, I don't want to kill him. Okay, uh, suppressor. I don't know how important the suppressor is for bosses, but... Okay, all these bats are really screwing with... my ability to use the motion detector. God, no! Bro, we were so close. <laughs> I was trying to put my body out. I was on fire. We were doing so good too, man. Well, like, I don't know if so good's the right way to put it, but like, we were alive. <laughs> After being so close to death, we got him so close. Okay, that was that was really dumb. Just fucking shoot him. I mean that probably wasn't the smartest move, but whatever, he was right there and I was pissed off <laughs> after what happened last time. their motion detector back on so we can get a feel for where he is if we like hop through the fire does that stop us from where are you ow ow i shoot okay once we knock him down it doesn't seem like we can damage him again for a moment which is good to know. Where's he at? Where's he at? Is he down there? Sounds like he's over here. Did he... Oh, shit, dude. After being so close to dying last time and then almost beating him, I feel like we're going to lose this time, dude. Which way is he going? We just knocked him down, dude. I'm glad that didn't kill him instantly because we are trying to do the no kill. Damn it, bad time to reload, Snake. We might be okay. He's flying. I think he stopped. Damn it, he did stop, but we're too late. Oh no! You son of oh, oh, we grabbed it!
Where's he? Oh, you bastard. Where's he fly? Ugh. Flying should be illegal. <laughs> is he? There he is. Get him. No. Aim. Dude, we're so close. Oh, you bastard. It's like two more shots, man. Where's he at? Where's he at? I'd rather not if you don't mind. Oh, dude, come on. Stop getting on fire, Snake. Where is he? Uh, shake out the fire, please. We're gonna die. Seriously, we're so screwed, man. Uh, I don't like the countdown. Bro, we gotta get him quick or we're dead. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Just saw him. No! Oh, that's it. We're dead. Oh, dude. Okay. We can get him. We can get him. I We probably would have had him the first time if I wouldn't have jumped off the freaking cliff like a dumbass. <laughs> this guy's really not all that hard. It's more about just, like, patience. What? Where'd he go? Calm down, guy. Why did going to space make this guy so angry? I really don't get it. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Dude, is my controller fucking up? What was that? What? How did we get the directional mic? <laughs> that's not That's not what I want. That's not going to help me at all. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Kind of hard to see through all the fire, too, to be honest, man. He's got to be, like, right here somewhere. Fire's out. Where are you? Dude, how is that rat not dead? I'd rather you show yourself or let these fires go out for God's sake. Or am I just blind? Where is he? There he is. Aw, your poor suit's been ripped. You hate to see it, my guy. Damn, he ran away too quick. Not really, man. I'd prefer if it was darker, to be honest with you. Where'd you go? I miss you so... Uh that him that's him. Damn you. Oh. 
two, and... Oh, no! <laughs> we, we didn't quite get the third shot off. That's all right. It's fine. Everything is fine. Ow. Flying again. It's definitely over here somewhere. Is that him? No. Get wrecked. Flying. Where to? There he is. Ah, uh, no! That was scary. That was scary. Found a file for the grommet? Oh, I could have made one, man. That's fine. I just meant, like, uh, we'd probably have to iterate because of, like, size and whatnot, you know? To fit your exact hole that you have. Where's he at? Is he up there? Where is he? Oh. Well, I saw him for a second. Come on, walk. Where? Excuse me, sir? There he is. Shoot him in the ass. Let's go. Die. What was that? Why didn't the third shot hit him? That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Reload quick. Ah. Couldn't even see him. Just <laughs> shooting blind, but we got him, dude. And that time with most of our health intact. And no scar burns. Scar burns? Burn scars. Boss. This is the end of the Copas. You've got to live on. You're the only one left. I'm off. To join the Sod. So dramatic, all of them, dude. Like, I'm doing non-lethal takedowns on these guys, and they're all just like blowing themselves up and shit. Chill a little bit. Take a deep breath, man. Behold, the flames of fury. The fires of hell will purge me. I can see it. Mission Control, do you read me? Is he, is he, like, trying to blow this whole place up? What is he doing? I'm coming home. I see He's just beating himself into the ceiling? <laughs> what? What kind of anime bullshit? All that anger and for what, dude? Because you got to see the Earth, like, <laughs> from outer space? I'm confused, man. Why are you so mad? Just chill, bro. Huh. The cup holder is what you can't find size-wise because you just want a simple drop one, basically a grommet with a bottom. Okay. Like I said, we can get him in. No worries. I know the basics of CAD. Uh, I'm not going to pretend to be a professional or anything, but, like, I'm okay with it. <laughs>
So I can I can make you something if if the one you found doesn't just work perfectly out of the box. If it does, then awesome. You know, we'll just do that. But uh, do we have to equip it to look at it? Yeah, the fur the furries, <laughs> the furies camo uniform reduces damage from flames and explosions by half. You know that would have been really helpful before we fought him. But like, how much more fire are we gonna be dealing with now that he's dead? I honestly don't know. It could be a ton. It could be like next to none. I feel like it's not going to be that much though. Bandages. I think they expected us to get burnt, but we're just too good for that shit, dude. Ointment, bandages, like all that stuff, but nope. We Gucci, man. Not a scratch on me. Just burned a couple of my arm and head hairs off. That's all. Wait, is it getting cold now? After all that fire, now we're freezing. Now's when we need to find the front door and knock, right? But we've taken down literal super villains. It's cut into all of these individual soldiers like we should be scared of them or something. Like, bruh. I don't think we really got to worry about them at this point. Although, to be fair, we've killed almost all of the super villains, so there's really not much of them left to be scared of either. <laughs> Are there any like stuff? I see a dude. What's the uh, best camo for the area while we're here? I'm thinking what we're wearing is probably gonna end up being the best or at least close to it, but. Yeah, besides spider. Spider's the only thing any better. And we're not wearing that unless like we're in a really tough spot. Cause it takes a lot of food to use that shit. Is there any goodies? I see something underneath the platform over there. A couple somethings. Probably just ammo, which... Honestly, I think we're pretty good on ammo, but like... Grenade for... Ooh. M19, 11, A1, smoke grenades, and... Hey! MK22, Mark 22? That's the thing that I mainly wanted, to be honest with you. You found a cup holder one, but you might need to adjust the lip size. Okay. I, uh... I, must be safe. I don't know how adjusting STLs will work, but I'll, I'll figure something out, man. Either just recreate it from scratch based off of the model or uh, figure out if it's easy enough to adjust one or the other. I'll figure something out. Can I see his head? I can Goodbye, friend. We are very visible on these stairs. That's better. Is that just... I wish I recognized, like, what these things were better. It's like, that looks like it's just some sort of healing thing. I'm guessing that's just ammo straight ahead of me, but... It could be something useful, like a gun or something. I don't know. Chaff grenades. Okay, well, I mean... I'm, I'm happy to have them, you know? You never know when you're going to need a nice chaff. Where was that bandage? Because I, I saw a hole in the wall over here, so that's the way I actually want to go. But since we're going this way anyways, we might as well grab... La bandage. This place seems empty, so like, there's not much to really worry about. It'd 
was just that one dude walking around and he was easy enough to take care of. What's a fool? And where's that hole? There it is. Word I can't pronounce Grad Southeast. Rosnidge? I have no idea, man. This place also empty? That feels suspicious. Maybe. Oh. The camo is pretty good. Can I crawl under this? I can't. that everyone? Shit, I didn't mean to shoot another shot, but whatever. I think we're good. Do we go up or do we stay low? I don't know what's back here or anything. A dude with something, something long. Are there any ammo boxes that come in long packages like that? be like a sniper rifle or something maybe c box c c box what is c box is that just a normal box cardboard a cardboard box i'm assuming which one's the c cardboard box c can we get info on it i don't remember i guess not damn I was hoping it would say, like, uh, I don't know what it was for or something. Didn't think it was going to be another cardboard box, to be honest with you, but... Because, you know, when you wear the cardboard boxes, they're, like, normal boxes. <laughs> so that's more or less what I expected. Hey, there's the frog for this level. I think we're good to go ahead and climb this. I have to stand up first. There we go. Bro, really? <laughs> it's on the roof. What is that? Is that another dirty magazine? It is. <laughs> nice. Surely there's more people around here, right? There's somebody back there. I don't remember... Man. Because they said something about, like, needing to go to, like, the east side and then come back to the west side or something. They had, like, this long list of things we were supposed to do. Damn it, we missed. Oh god. Okay, he's down. <laughs> that was some that was some A plus shooting there. There's another door. Any any fun stuff's hidden anywhere though? No. Can we go in this building? Because they tend to put stuff in buildings. Ooh, maybe, maybe. The torture room. Nice. I mean... There could be someone here that we care about. I see a guy through the door. Damn it. I 
was hoping to get him through the bars there. Is he going to come out this door? Or? Oh, he just does a loop. Okay. That's fine. God damn it. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. We're being attacked. Enemy position unknown. You're not no being attacked. Calm line. down. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. There's nobody here. Oh, shit. <laughs> they sent a task squad to find me. Uh, I was kind of hoping this is, wouldn't happen. <laughs> it's fine. It just gives us a chance to explore a little bit. See if there's any reason for us to be in here. What is that? Is that a... Okay, well, there's a interesting picture on the wall. But besides that... <laughs> That's definitely a Metal Gear Solid, like, poster of some sort on the on the bed there, interestingly enough. Oh, dude, if you dodge roll through people, it, like, knocks them down. That's pretty cool. Empty. Uh, empty. Empty. Get up, snake. Can I not go through this door? Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, we can go through the door now. Oh, we got a camera. What do we need a camera for? Oh, this must be the actual torture room. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'll gladly accept the camera. This, this is fine. I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Oh shit. They're smart enough. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping they wouldn't think to like come check over here. It was a dumb plan, but it was the only plan I had. I should have like hidden the box, honestly, is what I should have done. Bye, cruel world. <laughs> just, just keep rolling. Just keep rolling. Just need to get to somewhere where they can't see me, so I can go in a box here, right here. Damn it. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> was it the wrong box for the wrong area or did they just, you know, was it just a bad spot to be in a box? Just a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B maybe. Damn it, someone saw me. Oh, I didn't know you were here. That's fine. Just kill me then. I'm fine with dying. Ow. It's fine. When we respawn, will we still be in caution, though? Since when we came out of there, we were? No, okay. So free free reload. Not bad. Although we have, like, no health now. So not, uh, not the best situation to be in, maybe. Let's eat. Not a parrot. 
Russian ration. Gross. Okay, since they're not searching for me, this floor should be more or less safe. So we just got these two guys sleeping here. Um, what I'm not positive about, the guy that's back here, is he like... Okay, now I think he was just there because of being on, on, on search, evasion, whatever you want to call it. Snitch grad northeast. Okay. I think I think it was something about going to like the east side first and then heading over to the west or something. Major zero. Any info for us? Any any tips or Eva maybe? Good. You've finally made it inside Groznygrad. Finally. Stay alert. This is the enemy's main base. The security here is on a scale you haven't encountered yet. It doesn't no seem that kidding. bad so far. Your objective is the weapons lab. It's the giant building in the center of the fortress. Sokolov is in the west wing of that building. Thank you. To get into the area where Sokolov is imprisoned, you'll need to find Major Rykov. Steal his clothes and disguise yourself as him. Rykov is supposed to be in the east wing of the weapons lab. Okay, so either way, though, we're trying to get to the weapons Start lab. Start out by sneaking into the east wing of the weapons lab. Then neutralize Rykov and take his clothes. The weapons lab is located in the center of the area you're in now. Head for the east wing of the weapons lab. They really want you to go to the east wing of the weapons lab. Like, holy shit, dude. Uh, Eva, have any tips for us? The security in the west wing where Sokolov is being held is extremely tight. The only ones who are cleared to enter the west wing are those with colonel class authorization. One of those people is Major Rykov. To get into the West Wing, you could disguise yourself as Rykov. First, you have to take Rykov out and steal his uniform. He's in the East Wing of the Weapons Lab in the center of Groznygrad. You're in the vicinity of the East Wing. Proceed to infiltrate. Okay. All right, but why? Huh? Why do I have to steal Rykov's clothes from him? What about that scientist outfit? That's not going to work this time around. Rykov's uniform is a special type that only he wears. You'll have to get it directly from him. Normally, I'm pretty good at getting men to take off their clothes, but it won't work on him. Um. You, on the other hand, might have a better chance with him. What's that supposed to mean? What indeed? Anyway, the only way to get Rykov's uniform is to take him out and steal it yourself. He's somewhere in the East Wing. Wait, can we seduce him? <laughs> Is that an option? Can we... Cause the way she was making that sound, dude, it sounds like the dude might be a little into us. Okay, so that, I'm assuming, is the weapons factory. Are there people up there? There is, okay. Running a spotlight. I don't suppose we can just, like, go in the front door. Is that an option? I see a door right there. Is that part of the same building, though? Might actually be, like, two separate buildings just close together. Oh, shit, that's not what I wanted. I want a map. How do I open the map again? Is it under here? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, okay. It might all be one building. Looks more or less like the same building, at least, on the map. Is that a dude? That's a dude. Okay. Clear shot over now. Fingers crossed. We really need another silencer soon, man. Uh, we, I guess we have two. It's more than I thought we had. Oh, we only had one left. What's the... Uh... 
Oh, is this just ammo? This is probably just ammo. But I'm gonna check. Hopefully it doesn't go bad. Ammo, ammo, smoke grenade, which is handy. I'm terrible at using grenades, though. I just never think of them. Holy shit, there's a dude right there. I think if we hop up here, I think we can grab this stuff. Get down before... Yeah, we good. We're fine. Weapons Lab East Wing. There we go, dude. Now, like, the dude that... The, the... The Colonel Class Scientist guy that they want us to take out and steal the clothes of. If I'm not mistaken, his face... Looks exactly like our, our camouflage. Like Raiden, basically. I didn't mean to call you. Um... You made it into the East... Will that buy us some time? Oh, okay. Scientist uniform. That makes sense. That makes sense. We can do that. But that also means that we need to unequip our guns and all that stuff. Face. Mask. Uniform. Scientist. Spider still works really well in here. Huh? Although, I don't know. Wait a second. Is there a... Bruh. <laughs> Why do we have a dart sticking out of us? What is that about? <laughs> uh, Weird. When were we shot with a dart? Oh, well, whatever. Now, I'm hoping it's like the other building where we're fine as long as the scientists themselves don't see us. But otherwise, like, nobody really cares about us. You want me to make pickles tonight? I'll make pickles tonight. This room empty? This is cool. I'm just hoping, like, nobody comes and, like, checks on this room. Like, soldier-wise. Because otherwise it'd probably be pretty awkward. I don't know how we would explain us climbing around. Hi. Good timing. <laughs> I'm glad, glad we were back down on the ground before he came in. Everything's fine here, man. Just in here uh, grabbing some supplies, you know, for scientist stuff and things. Bandages. One more. Antidote. Another random dude over there. I don't know, like... Is he a scientist? Is he going to be wearing, like, a get-up like I am? Or is he going to be wearing soldier clothes? So we don't have access to that room. It's fine. What about... Th oh, this is the bathroom. Surely we have access to the bathroom. Nothing of note. Doesn't appear to be. Oh, wait, there's another door over here? How did I miss that? Okay, so it's just like connect up events. Just another way to get through there. Without going down this hallway? Yeah. Oop, don't run. Running draws suspicion. So presumably, yeah, that door is also locked to us. This one's not, though. Hello, sir. Who's that? Oh, damn it.
Can I still use cardboard box? Who's crying for help? It sounded almost like they were in the room next to us. Who are they shooting? They're not searching for me. <laughs> Did the game glitch? Oh. <laughs> okay, no, so they were searching for me. Why did the alert box, why was it acting so weird? Like... I don't like there being blood on our clothes. I don't know if that gives us away, but... Damn it. Ow. What is this one? basically treating this like I did last time we got caught. I'm just going to run around and use this as an opportunity to get a lay of the land. Wait, we're getting a call? Wait, the call went away. Snake, that door can't be opened by normal means. Apparently, it operates by responding to a specific radio frequency. Interesting, okay. If you want to know the key frequency, why don't you try asking someone nearby? Um, <laughs> I think you're telling me to use interrogation tactics. And, uh, I never quite figured out how that works, so... Now, this room looks pretty safe, dude. Is our box, like, gone, though? It is, man. Our box has hit points. Oh, not, not weapons items. Where's... We got that other cardboard box. There we go. Wait, there's someone in here? I didn't realize there was a dude like staring at me in there. I wouldn't have <laughs> I wouldn't have tried hiding in the box. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's worth a shot, right? Um, hold on. There is one thing. As a scientist, can't we use that pen thing? Not food. Backpack. What's it called? I don't remember. No, 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 no. Smoke grenade magazine, TNT, claymore book, directional mic. Oh, wait, do we not have it anymore? Oh, there it is. Cigar gas spray. Are you okay, Mr. Noodle? I can hear you all the way upstairs, dude. <laughs> Are you okay, love? Do you need help? Get wrecked. <laughs> Just knocking everybody out, dude. Let's go. Okay, box behind the counter. Nobody will suspect the box behind the counter. 
I think if we get out of evasion and into like the normal, or not the normal, but the whatever, whatever comes after evasion, caution, I think we can ro walk around as a scientist at that point. A spoon had a hair on it and you didn't know and it touched your hand. Oh, you poor thing. How did you survive? <laughs> God. I love this woman. Okay. Now, one problem. This place has scientists in it. And the scientists will recognize me instantly. The soldier people... It seems like if we did get too... Wait, did a scientist see us? What happened there? God oh, damn it, dude. Is it the mask? Is that what's screwing us over? I'm gonna take the mask off. It, it may be the fact that like our uniform is covered in blood. Cause I mean that feels like a pretty pretty good giveaway that we're not who we say we are. Oh, dude, why? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh. Ow. How do I take his clothes? Can I not take his clothes because we're on alert? Ow. Get freaking down, dude. Knocked out. Thank you. How do I take his clothes? We found him, but I don't know what to do. Just, I'm just a box. Just a box in the bathroom, dude. <laughs> that, that's obviously him. I mean, look at him, man. But I don't know. Do we have to kill him? Is just knocking him unconscious not good enough? Or like putting him to sleep, I guess. He's not like... We didn't dart him or anything. Should we try darting him? Is it because of the u camouflage? I don't... Naked. And then... Put a dart in him? I hear footsteps. I don't, I don't like the footsteps. Not whenever I found the dude, <laughs> like... Just gonna take a drink. We're just gonna... No, hold on. I don't hear the footsteps. Keep that door closed, please. I take his clothes. Oh, 
What if I call Eva again? Does she have any info? <laughs> I'm confused, man. You took care of Rykov? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. D drag him to the locker room? Anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his clothes. And you can hide his body, too. The locker room is on the southwest side of the second floor. Hurry and take him there. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Are you kidding me? How do we drag this dude all the way to the... Uh... Southwest of the second... Oh, good. And the caution just got reset. They must have found a body. Um... No. Okay, put our put our camouflage back on. Why can't we just take his freaking clothes here, man? We could take his clothes, disguise ourselves as him, and then just say that we're dragging a prisoner somewhere or something, you know? Like but a scientist dragging along a high-ranking officer in your military, I don't think is going to end so well. For the scientist, at least. We have a surprising amount of health. I wonder if we can just... Or do we drop him, like, every time we... We get shot. Somebody there. Nobody's there. This is not gonna work. There's no way this is going to work, man. Southwest, so I'm assuming it's across the way here. This the locker room? Oh shit, there's a person there. Southwest corner. Who's that? What? I mean, we had to get spotted sooner or later. <laughs> Wait, that's the main wing. What? I wasn't trying to go... Help! Is he still going to be here? After all that work? <laughs> okay, he is. Good. Map. Where? We're in the southwest. South? So assuming up is north, this is southwest. Because it's north, east, south, west. The camera's backwards, so don't mind that. But we're bottom left. That would be southwest. Uh of the second floor. We're on the second floor. Okay. Leave his body here for Is this the locker room? Oh, 
Oh, excuse me. I'll call Eva. Because maybe, maybe it's just not working because we're in caution. Which would make sense. You take care of Icar? Good. Now drag him to the locker room. There shouldn't be anyone in there. You won't need to worry about anyone seeing you take his club. Locker room's on the southwest. Okay. We're on the southwest side. These do look like lockers, I have to admit. So do we just put him in a locker? I guess we probably need to like... What? Why can't I open any of these other lockers? Oh god! He's awake! Just fixing my glasses and not opening. There we go. Uh, it's this one. Shove him in a locker? That didn't give me his clothes, though. Let's hide all of these bodies. Oh. Okay, I guess something happened that let it trigger. I don't I don't know what exactly, but something happened that let it trigger. We're getting his clothes. That's fair enough, man. What was with the little lightning bolt on his underwear? Does that Wait, was that Raiden? Was that a picture of Raiden on the the poster there? I wonder if you always put him in that locker then. Uh, okay, hold on. So we should be able to put on the mask and his clothes now. Camouflage, face, mask. Yeah, I can play D&D &D tonight. Uniform. Officer? Looks pretty believable to me, my guy. So I'm assuming it works the same, though, as the scientist stuff. Like, we can't do anything suspicious. And, um... And we can't, like, come face-to-face -face with with people of the same faction. So, in this case, like, officers or whatever. Turn I don't know if that's a reference to something. I don't recognize it, though. Oh, shit. Try not to run. Oh, wait a second. Okay. I'm assuming standing at attention there does something. Like under some circumstances, we'll probably need to do that. Which I assume Eva could tell us about. Or maybe, maybe, maybe Major? Maybe Major Zero. Okay. Your Rykov disguise is complete. Now they won't stop you no matter what you do. Oh shit, for real? Even if I punch someone in the face. Right. Really? Oh really? shit. Why? Rykov's just that kind of guy. Uh -huh. 
Once you're disguised as Rykov, you can get into the west wing where Sokolov is Wait, being so held. Wait, so for real, I can just go around to punching people in the face now? The west wing, <laughs> yeah. Pass west through the main wing of the weapons lab and go through the connecting passageway. You can get into the main wing of the weapons lab from the southwest side of the second floor. Southwest, the second wing. floor. Main wing. Okay. Oh, yeah, the door that's, like, right here next to us. So, wait, does that mean we can run around, too? Like... I'm assuming anything means, like, anything. We can just do whatever the hell we want. God damn it, my headphones are dying. Sir. In that case, though, if we're just, you know, a dick, maybe saluting to people would actually be a bad idea? Scorpion, 32 caliber submachine gun. That's cool. I'm glad I have it. I don't know if we'll end up making any use Sir. of it. any other rooms in here we didn't actually get to explore I don't think so we go through this one at some point yeah yeah we went through this one at some point get fucked loser <laughs> dude why why is this Rykov guy such a dick, man? Okay. It's fantastic. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and head into the next wing, shall we? Actually continue on. I wanna open the locker that has Rykov in it, because I really wanna know like if that was a, a poster of Raiden, but But I feel like that would screw stuff up somehow. Or the game just wouldn't let us. I guess that's, you know, reasonable to believe as well. All right, main wing. So if we can do literally anything now, couldn't we just run straight to Sokolov and, like, save his ass? I mean, I'm assuming, like, if the boss sees us, they would still have some questions. I love that that dart is still, like, stuck in us. I don't even know where that thing came from. Wait, is it an arrow? Guess we could check the surgery tab real quick. Cure. Surgery. Uh, da -da -da. How do we... Cut. We have a cut on nowhere. We have a cut between our legs, <laughs> but like, uh, it's weird. Cut, 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 cut. No, just a couple cuts. Nothing about this weird arrow thing that's just poking out of our midsection. Are there bullets stuck in my groin? <laughs> there's something there. Like, there's definitely something there, too. I can't tell if the game's just glitching or... Holy shit, dude. We got... Got a bit of a medical history there. All right, let's just get out of here. It's fun. Maybe you grew up? Maybe. Maybe I did. I honestly couldn't tell you at this point. It's just weird, man. Like... It's just like sticking right through me. I can't take it out. It's there when I change clothes. I'm guessing it's just some sort of glitch and it's not meant to be there. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Dude, I wish I had control during that. I would have just punched one of them in the face. <laughs> like, like, you're gonna let me through, whether you like it or not. Here it is. 
Why'd you take the mask off, dude? That seems dumb. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you? Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. Why are you hiding from Eva, dude? I mean, I get that we don't really trust her completely, which is fair, honestly. <clears throat> Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. And wasn't what Eva his wife here? or something? I'm so I confused. I told you before, didn't I? I'm, I'm going so to get confused. you out of here. A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me. The Shagahads. Hm. Exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. So, Glov, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. about in layman's terms? The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase Two. But there's turn them no into Metal Gears. An ICBM onto the Shagahod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagahod itself. Accelerating it. In Phase Two, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagahod. Mm. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. But like, doesn't that kind of defeat the all-terrain ability of being able to launch it? Like, five hundred miles to six thousand miles, six thousand miles. Because you would need like a runway, like what they're showing to. United States. Not only that, with the shadow to gain the speed and shit, right? To construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or it's yeah. See. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass produce them. Based you can't tell me that, that massive prototype. thing is impossible to detect by satellite, man. <laughs> like, look how freaking yes. big it is. And that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohad as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. 
His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohan goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohard will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. Not if we destroy it. It's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility See? before they can mass produce it. But just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3. You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Vulcan's lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? I'm so confused, man. Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me, Sokolov. Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about the US? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there, but... Even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. 144.75. I'm assuming that's a radio frequency. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I, I mean, wanted to do was build space I get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you would feel pretty if shitty, it was man. Not to be. <laughs> the space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please watch over my family.
Look, I mean, if it's the difference between stopping nuclear war in this guy's life, I say we just let him go, man. <laughs> like, you know? Major, what are you doing here? Punch him in the Wait face. For you in my room. I had a feeling. <laughs> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Ow. Hi, boss. disguise it's gonna rub off on you and then you'll lose sight of who you really are stay out of this See why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. She loves her close quarters together. combat, man. Yeah, I'm good, Nate. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? <sighs> of course. But first. I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Guessing that's Rykov's first name? Ow. Bruh. <laughs> We're just a little bit far. <laughs> Might need a bandit or two after this, man. I'm not sure. Things aren't looking too good for us at the moment. Is Ocelot gonna save us or is uh Scientist Bro? How are we going to get ourselves out of this one, dude? Presumably, he's not going to kill us just right here. He's going to, like, 
take us somewhere and lock us up or or something. Because like <laughs> I don't <laughs> unless Ocelot just like comes around the corner and shoots the guy. I don't know how we could possibly make it out of where we're at right now or the situation we're in right now. It's looking just just a wee bit dire, you know, just just a little bit. Come on, game save. Let's see what happens. <laughs> save successful. Let's go. Hopefully this cutscene's not more than like a half hour. Oh, we're back in the torture room Tell now. Me. you been talking to he doesn't know what you're talking about <laughs> you'd better start talking Please. it's completely black you can't see anything who is khrushchev's lapdog how can you do this to him i know you gave the data to someone never do it you what I was hoping we could like I guess he's dead. put on some uh, <laughs> night vision goggles or something, but I guess it makes sense for us not to have anything. Are we blindfolded? Let's. Oh, there what goes some of our health. Target? Is it the Shagohad? <laughs> or Sokolov? As far or as I can tell, legacy. we can't do anything. Like. Answer me. Who is helping you? Who let you in here? Whoa. You're a tough one. Even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. That ain't looking so good for us, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Ah, we got a bag over our head. That makes sense. Here's where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Owie. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? I don't really understand what this whole legacy thing is. Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? Is it what made them all like superhuman? It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Hmm. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for. Oh. Isn't it? Is this a big cache of money? 
100 billion dollars divided up and hidden all over the world I mean that is a lot of money <laughs> it would be nice to have and you're looking for a but... of where all that money is hidden right no matter the philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession in the underground vault of Groznikrat. Why would you just tell us that? Like, <laughs> what's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they knew where he was going to be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. I mean, they all kind of did have the jump on me. This, boss, but under the circumstances, <laughs> I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof. You and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that, but he is your <laughs> Big dude apprentice. scared of the boss. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. Oh, <laughs> rude. <laughs> I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras. I'm still not... Like, is the boss double-crossing? Um... <laughs> I can't decide if she's actually been on this the the US the CIA side the whole time or Are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop Bro. <laughs> Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. There goes one eye. <laughs> hey, Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love. <laughs> Weird time to give some there, bits. Just see. <laughs> now. Well, that was refreshing. Come, we're going to my room. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh?
Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. Are they just having fun torturing me at this point? I'm. Run. Who the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, I saw the radio signal earlier, but like. We haven't had a chance to check it yet. Underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the west north manhole the sewers. sewers. Unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. Okay, so can we... We can. 144... Point seven five. That door has been unlocked. Oh shit! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a fork. Uh, we got a gun with no ammo. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Where'd that, where'd that mouse go? There we go, okay. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. All right. Well, with that, because we never know with these games when <laughs> there's going to be another 30-minute cutscene. So I think we're going to have to save here. I'm really confused about who that random guy was that appeared you holding the 144.75 sign though that was weird man like what was that about and that was the same i'm gonna have to go back and watch the video but that was the same that it was showing in like sokolov's room too right i think it was What? 
I'm so confused. I'm not like uh, I'm trying to look it up online while this is saving, but I'm not. Have you ever seen On the Beach? No, I can't no, say that I have. I don't know it. It's about the survivors of the Third World War. The entire northern hemisphere is obliterated in a nuclear holocaust, and it's only a matter of time before the few survivors left in the southern hemisphere are poisoned by the deadly fallout. Their only hope is an American nuclear submarine that escapes to the southern hemisphere. They set out for the Arctic to investigate the fallout. The movie came out in 59, and the year that the war was supposed to happen was 1964. In other words, this year. Nice warning. Let's hope it stays just a movie. Well, that's cool. There's all different kinds of secret radio frequencies, though, to, like, call off the, the hunt and things like that whenever people are hunting you down to heal yourself, etc. Um, but you have to interrogate people to get those frequencies. It says otherwise it won't work, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm still very confused, though, <laughs> about the whole random dude that popped up. Like... What if I search for, like, shadow? Apparently it's the sorrow? I don't want to read too much. Because I don't want to get, like... Okay, I'm not going to read anymore, I don't think. Because I don't want to get spoilers. But anyways, <laughs> thank you for coming and hanging out with me, guys, while we played some more Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, uh, I'm guessing one more week? Maybe two. I don't know. We're just going to play it till we're done, I guess. In the meantime, though, thank you again, everyone. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye, y'all.